Okay, so let's uh, zoom in on the enemy character. And if you can't see the enemy character in your view, just go to the hierarchy, find the enemy, double click to get that little bit closer. Um, so we can see the nav mesh, the areas where the character will avoid, so the character will avoid these uh, boulders, will avoid these, um, these benches, will not be able to walk through that fence, but has, has to go around it. So I think from his starting position right there, we could set uh, a target to be around here. And then we should see the character walk through these gates down to the actual target, which is there. Okay, um, but in order to get our character to do that, we will have to set him up so that he can navigate along this nav mesh. So the actual nav mesh itself displays as long as we have this tab open, this navigation. As soon as we go back to the inspector, obviously that disappears. Um, it's there purely as a gizmo. Okay, so if, if you click on it and switch off your gizmos, you'll notice that those disappear as well. So make sure you've got your gizmo switched on. And we're going to go back to inspector okay so with um, this character selected enemy one we need to give him some components that you can um, work with this nav mesh so we're going to go to component and the first thing that we need is physics and a rigid body okay a rigid body handles all physics within the game now because this is a physical mesh uh, it requires some kind of physics properties for that character to interact with that. So without the rigid body, the character would not be able to interact with that nav mesh. Uh, we're going to make it kinematic and we're going to switch off gravity so that the character doesn't respond to real world gravity. In other words, we don't want our enemy character to start walking and then just roll over or <laughs> um, maybe fly off into outer space or whatever that can be some of the bizarre things that gravity occasionally does in unity um, so as long as it's kinematic it means that it's not affected by gravity forces and that kind of thing but it can still interact with this mesh uh, the next thing we need is a component physics and a box collider okay which appears there it's, it's in the wrong position at the moment it's too low so you can see our box collider we're going to make our size on the y to be two so we're going to change that to two to make it a little bit larger and on the y above it where it says center we're just going to put that to one okay and then obviously it's in the right position this is going to help um, the nav mesh detect where our character is so it needs that box collider in order to test what's going on around it okay um, and we also need component navigation and nav mesh agent okay now this nav mesh agent is the very thing uh, it's this it's this cylinder which we can see here in in the game this is the very thing that moves along the nav mesh okay and we have uh, various settings that, that we can change uh, at the moment we're going to go with the default settings uh, we will need to change those later okay but for now we're just going to go with these so that's everything the character needs in order to start walking along the nav mesh. What we need now is a target for the character to walk toward. So I'm just going to get into position. Um, I might put a target. In fact, I might go through this gate as well. Uh, I might put a target roughly down here. All right, so I'm going to click game object. Uh, and 3D object, a cube, so that I can see the actual object he's heading towards. Uh, game object, align with view. Okay, so this is where I want the character to walk towards. Um, just gonna straighten that up a little bit and I'm gonna put it down on the ground. Now, if you set a target, it is quite important that that target is somewhere where the character can reach so it has to be within this blue area uh, also kind of avoid having your targets like way up in the air where the character can't reach it it has to be somewhere where the target can uh, where the character can actually walk into the target okay so cube um i might just rename this one as um target cube something like that 
you notice that it has a box collider it's very important that we set this one to a trigger okay as long as that box collider is a trigger we can detect when the player has actually reached its target um, we'll leave it with the default white material for the moment everything else is looking good now what we can do is give this cube a specific tag so they recognize us that um, it's target now at the moment we don't have a target tag so we need to create one let's click add tag now it's telling us the list is empty so we're just going to click plus to add one uh, let's call this um, let's have a look um, something like enemy targets and press enter okay so tag zero is enemy target so let's click back on the target cube go to the tag and now we can select enemy target okay this is done so that we can ensure that um, the character is heading towards the right object and not towards the wrong object as if he collides with an object as a, a collision a collider that he knows whether that is the right target or the wrong target based on the tag okay so now we're going to move over to writing the script so probably for the next four or five videos we're going to get into some scripting we're going to start off with the basics and we're going to work up in complexity okay so i'm just going to go to assets uh, i've created a folder called my scripts going to go in there i'm going to right click create and c sharp script and this one i'll simply call enemy move double click to open Okay, enemy move, there we go, just put that into place so that you can see it. Okay, so uh, some of the stuff is already in there, it's, it's auto-completed what you need to get started with a basic script. Um, these are the collections that it's currently using in this script. We need to add another one to this uh, using Unity Engine dot AI in capitals. Okay, and then a semicolon on the end to, to tell it to complete that line. Okay, um, we need that in order to um, talk to the nav mesh. All right, so uh, first of all, at the top within the public class, we need to create ourselves a slot in the inspector. So we need to create a slot within here where we can drag in that um, target so we can tell it which, which target to use. So uh, we're going to do this by serializing the field. So we're just going to open these. Um, this is next to the P character on my keyboard on the PC. Um, it's also, if you press shift, you get a curly bracket. So it's, it's contained within those two. Uh, these are just called, I suppose, square brackets. Uh, now we're going to type, start typing serialize field and you'll notice it actually auto completes for us so just press enter and it will automatically add that space uh, it's gonna want to know what type of object are we wanting to drag into this slot so it's actually going to be a transform okay uh, in other words it is uh, an object that has some kind of a transform it has an X Y and Z value within space Okay, that, that's what we're going to drag in there. Uh, and now we just give it the name. Uh, the name can be absolutely anything you want. You can come up with any name. There's no conventions to that. I'm just simply going to call this um, target uh, with a capital T. And then semicolon to finish. All right, so if we now save that, save assets. and we wait to ensure that we don't have any errors which we don't okay just go to console uh, just got a little bit of a warning there um, and we go to our enemy character we can now drag this script this enemy move onto our character so we're going to drag it um, where we're we going to drag it we'll just put it if we can <laughs> is it not wanting to go in there 
there we go okay you just have to drag it into that little line there and it adds it to the character what we can see we've created this we've created this target and there's a slot there okay and it's say non transform well that's going to be our target cube so now we can drag that into place so that now it recognizes that the target is that cube uh, that object that's where it needs to head towards okay great so we achieved that just with that one line there now we're going to create ourselves a new function just underneath the void update so if you click on line 21 and press enter okay uh, it's going to be void it's not going to return anything um, we're going to call this move to target and then put in a couple of curly brackets okay um, so this is a function which is going to move our character so in order to do this we need to talk to the um, component we need to talk to this nav mesh agent okay which is on on the character it's on the enemy one character so we need to get to that in the script so to do that we're going to say get component the name of the component so it has to be within these okay within uh, and obviously this is just uh, above the comma and the full stop uh, you just press shift to access those on the PC keyboard uh, and type in nav mesh agent okay so once we've got the nav mesh agent uh, we're just gonna put in a couple of brackets there we want to access any of the elements that are part of that nav mesh agent okay so we can we can uh, access any of those elements and there are also some other elements that we can access as well one of which is destination so we want to type in destination in other words where should it go okay and we're going to say equals uh, target target dot position Now the target is obviously this, it's our transform. So it's telling it to move the nav mesh agent from where it currently is to the target's position. So it's simply gonna move it there. Now we've created our own custom function, but to get that to work, we need to call that function, which we will do in the void start. So when the game starts or when this character starts, you will then call this function and move to the, uh, to the cube. So to do this, we're just simply going to type move to target, uh, open and close brackets, and then semicolon. What that's saying is just basically run that function. Okay, and that's it. That's all we need to do. Okay, and that will actually move our character to the cube.